Hi everyone, welcome to today's session. Today we are going to watch how the three tire architecture of online exam is prepared and executed. So when I say three tire architecture, I mean that the exam happens in three stages. What are the stages that are associated with this online exam? They are first there is an exam controller who sets a exam and sets an evaluator okay the evaluator is the teacher or the subject teacher whose responsibility is to check the answers second the evaluator or the teacher who logs in and checks it and the third is the student who takes the exam so we can see that here i am now logging in as an admin that is the admin user or the exam controller once logged in i will go to menu academics examination in the online examination we will go to new online exam and we will create an exam for today's date okay now suppose this is a mathematics exam suppose this is an pt1 maths of full marks suppose 10 the date and the end date the purpose of giving two dates is that it doesn't means that you can extend the exam from one to more days but here we can set the examination for a whole day suppose today's date i give it and at any point of the time a teach a student can come and take the exam like all the student may not be coming at the same point of time some there may be different slots assigned to the students that's why we take the whole day into consideration now after setting the start and end date we will enter the maximum time means the duration of the exam suppose i give a 10 10 marks exam at 10 minutes time and in percentage what would be my passing percent now here exam type is there the exam the exam the exam type specifies whether this exam will be a subject specific or a generalized one means if it's a general and i select 9a then i won't be given any option to choose which subjects exam is this i will be directly presented with the students okay and if i go for the subject specific one then it will let me choose the class and section and what exam we are going to have now since it's a math exam end of class 9 pt1 i have selected the batch means the class and section and the subject and then from here i may get, take this exam or set this exam for all the students or or few of them as per my requirement i can set it okay now for this per tutorial i will go with all and then here is the exam format option whether it will be a objective type that is an mcq type there will be a question and there will be options against that question and we have to check or select that and against that answer the exam will be evaluated or we can go for the hybrid one in the hybrid option here the exam controller actually sets the subject teacher as the exam evaluator or the person who will check the 
copy in actually what happens the evaluator is the person who checks the copy in the same way here we can assign an evaluator who will actually check our hybrid answers in by hybrid we mean descriptive suppose I had said the teacher Raman as an evaluator and I have created the exam after that I will be directly taken to the question creation page here see the subject is mathematics and the type is descriptive or I can keep objective means I can make it a mix exam like first two questions will be objective or first five question will be objective and the others will be subjective or else we can directly go for the descriptive like this so I will make it a mixed question paper with some objective and one subjective suppose first one is an objective one so I simply wrote a question like question one so my bad question one is zero I set a marks five suppose and I have set the answer yes no I can add option like in some just this for this simply for showing it up now I have set is answer this will actually set the answer against this objective type question means when the paper will be evaluated this objects objective type question gets evaluated directly by the system without any teachers intervention now when the sub this sub objective type question gets evaluated this system checks which out of the option has this is answer checked then it considered that as the answer now as I showed we can add options and or we can go to the next one like create now again our first one was an objective now for this one I will set the marks and I will keep it as descriptive now I will give a question now here the question is draw and describe a triangle sometimes in such type of question especially in maths where we need to draw or in biology or any physics subject or any other subject where we need to draw in the actual real time how to make that thing possible so that I will show when I will take the exam as a student now I have given the marks 5 draw the question that is draw and describe a triangle and and simply I will set the type on the format like the first one was objective and this one is descriptive now simply I will go to skip first create or we can directly skip it and here you can see they can add if I had to add any more questions I can add it if I had to import any question like I had already set an exam for other class and I have to take some of the questions from there or all the questions from them I can go for this import option 
I can rearrange like I want to make this number two question as one and the one as two I can do it from this and once I go to this I can this edit options will take me to the very first page where I was setting the exam the date time all and that thing and if I publish the exam the exam will get published now the exam has got published I log in as a teacher once I log in see I am now as Raman Kumar Singh the teacher was assigned as an evaluator by the exam controller now see on the menu academics examination and the evaluate online exam see PT1 maths exam of 10 marks and today's date has been set and he gets this evaluate option if I click now as no, no students has already taken the exam so not yet not appeared yet will come once a student takes it then we will see what happens now we will log out from the evaluator or the teacher and I will log in as the student now see the student has been getting a notification that an online exam has been set okay now if he wants to take the exam he goes to menu academics and online exam here he can see okay the maths exam has came he will select this exam and click on this go button before he starts it gives the information of the exam that is what is the full marks the full time the passing percentage and the start exam message now once clicked see it will take you to the exam page now if you see the first question was an objective one so here you see it has the options is zero divisible suppose he puts no and when he comes to the second one here what is like draw and describe a triangle so now he writes something the triangle suppose he has written this and now if he wants to draw and show it like the description part he has done now how to show the draw drawing thing he can do it what we can do is actually he can draw it in a piece of paper or and take a photo of that and attach it if he takes a photo suppose he has taken drawn and taken a photo and has saved somewhere now you go to this option insert image option and you, you will be given a choice to select now if I selected this triangle or the saved image now you see along with that description descriptive answer what you have written the image also appears or the photo which he has at attached also appears now after this once the student clicks the end exam it will take as the exam submitted and you will be notified or such message option will come and he has to click the finish and now it is on the evaluator once he evaluates the view result option will come now once the evaluator go to academics menu academics examination 
and evaluate online exam and select the exam for which you want to evaluate like this one now he will select the batch now see since this first student has actually opted for the examination his his one is coming the op there the option evaluate is coming and for the rest not appear yet is coming now one thing you will show that or you will see that here are already a mark has been assigned <coughs> this one this is what i was telling earlier that since the first one is an objective type which is already evaluated by the system against the answer we have already said so that marks is pre assigned now for the second descriptive answer it is waiting for the teacher's evaluation now how the teacher can evaluate is simply the evaluate but uh, the option is there once he clicks over here it will show him the question and the answer so the question was draw and design a triangle now he will see this he will check and whatever he feels right he will giving the marks and saving it now this was the part which was to be done by the evaluator for checking and after that to publish the result he will just simply click the next option or the option next to the evaluate one that is the publish result once this is clicked the result has been published login as the admin or the exam controller i will come to see the results over here if i go and select the batch see against math view result here see the student who has taken the exam he has got the marks his admission number and what is the result from here we can generate the report online report card also in as a student now see the first one was exam now the result has published this information has came to the student as a notification now once he goes to menu academics and online exam and view result he he can see the answer sheet what he has submitted like the maths one the latest exam which he has taken once you click to the view answer sheet here is zero divisible he has answered no and he has got the marks and what marks he has got on the second question that also can be seen from here